Is the conference board. This has gotten more important than it has been in the past as uh, people try to figure out whether we're going into recession. And the numbers come in grim as well. 95.7 for the overall number. It was down from 98.4. The present situation is 141.3, a much lower number than 147.2 the month prior. And then the expectations outlook, 65.3 down from 65.8. All of those numbers down. It's the third consecutive month that consumer confidence has fallen, and it does suggest that people were seeing the economy slow at the beginning mm. of the third quarter uh, as July began. The uh, problem is uh, we had still high gasoline prices at that time, and we're still yes. looking at the number of people who want to get jobs. They think jobs are available, but they're starting to get tighter. And so then that prompts a big conversation about whether we are heading into a recession, Mike. And I know we'll talk about this a little bit later on with the IMF. But what are you hearing about the likelihood of recession? Or maybe I should first ask about the definition of recession, because it is the, the way that the unemployment numbers are performing, the way that the labor market is so tight that's really raising questions about whether this is going to be a recession or not. Yeah, there's a lot of questions because this is a completely different kind of situation than we've experienced before, Anna. Uh, with all the money that went into the economy, in the U.S. during the pandemic from the federal government. Uh, there are a lot of people with still hefty bank accounts. The lower income strata starting to run out of money, but they've gone back to work, so there is some uh, possibilities there that they can keep spending. So the question is, do they want to keep spending? One of the things we don't know is whether they have shifted the mix. We'll find out on Friday when we get the latest spending report, but we know that people have stopped buying as many goods. You saw that in the retail sales figures. You've also seen it in the Walmart numbers that came out yesterday. The question is then, you know, do they spend it on travel instead of buying stuff? Uh, the inflation rate, interestingly enough, the conference board asks about that, which uh, the University of Michigan numbers got a lot of attention. The conference board rate declines. The uh, median mm. uh, for a 12-month period down to 7 percent from 7.6 percent, a significant drop. So maybe people are seeing the results of lower gas prices or seeing gas prices fall, but they ha it still hasn't made them feel a whole lot happier about it.